Kikonda minta kona na we. Let's study. No more, Jay. Let me vlog now. Show Baba. Kikonda minta kona na we. Ita no na na we. Na we. Hmm. Let's Baba. What do you want? No. Look here. I say hi, guys. Subscribe to my mother's YouTube channel. YouTube and welcome back to Sharon Tarita YouTube channel. I hope you are well. I hope you are holding up well. I hope you are well kept. As for me, as I am great, I am doing wonderful. I thank God. So welcome to the first episode of the Motherhood series. Happy to finally be vlogging this. I am really, I am very, very grateful to God. Or rather, I am happy to be able to be shooting the first episode finally. And so far, as you have already seen the headline, is it the headline or what? I am talking about my pregnancy story, so we can tune in into motherhood. And for my pregnancy, for the record, I think I had the most peaceful pregnancy in the world. I thank God because it was very peaceful. By the way, I had zero sickness. I, it's sickness. I had zero morning sickness, zero nausea, zero vomiting, zero drama. I don't know if you to so say you, you just hate people, but I understand there are just a few things here and there. Like around my sixth month or my sixth seventh month, I think I used to feel very very lonely. I used to feel like nobody cares about me. I used to feel like nobody really loves me. <laughs> I used to feel seriously. I used to feel so lonely. But um, later on, I just figured, ah, oh, these are just pregnancy hormones doing their thing. And I know many pregnant women actually feel that. I want you to know that you're not alone and everybody cares and loves you. And you are just getting into the most beautiful journey. And if you ever feel unloved, it's very, very normal. Seriously, I think it's very normal. Um, and then, so except for that, I think I really had a peaceful pregnancy. I I think on my first trimester, I used to really, really crave a lot of chicken, which I did eat because uh, thankfully at that time I could afford it. So I really had a lot of chicken on my first time. And then uh, second trimester, now appetite kicked in. I had crazy appetite. I used to really, really eat a lot of food. <laughs> By the time I was going to deliver, I was really, really heavy. But anyway, and then everybody used to advise, Oh, oh please take care. The baby will be so big. Don't eat so much. Don't eat this. Don't eat this. My friend, Miss, I just ignored all the advice and ate food. And well, we don't follow my advice. Follow your advice. I don't know. It's I think it's different for various people. It's different for different people. As for me and my appetite, we did not forgive food. <laughs> then work. I think I really worked first of all for my job. I in Ilenda job had it the last the last month to the eighth month, I think. I got to leave at the ninth month because I really became heavy. And thanks by the way to my colleagues, to my, my boss, everybody was very understanding. I was around an environment of work that was very supportive and it really made my pregnancy very smooth. And also for um, my house chores, I think I really just did my house chores for myself. I did everything, everything to the very last minute. I was Nyumba, Nguo sometimes. I used to do everything, by the way. I feel like it was not very lazy. I used to do it a lot. And then when it comes to... Generally, I had a very peaceful pregnancy. And I am very, very grateful about that. Yeah? Though I think I didn't for long, but I think I went for 42 weeks. It was so long. Gosh, I, I don't know. That's a story for another day. So... Oh, from an informative point of view, first and foremost, um, I would advise us guys to 
I will talk about prenatal care. So there is prenatal care, which is ideally unaenda clinic, at least by the time we deliver four clinics. So you go for four clinics on the first one, you're given meds. It depends. I mean, my, my clinics in two months. I think I was very excited or it was just by coincidence. So unaenza clinics, alafu, maybe it's important to also have a contact for a guy na, who you just talk to in case of anything. Anything that looks not very normal, you just call a guy na. And then um, you, have, you have a number you can run to better off and then also for um, that is for clinics and then also when you begin your clinics there are several things that you'll get to learn first and foremost is your HIV status if you're afraid to get tested which is very normal please get pregnant because you will definitely get to know your HIV status by default you will also get to learn about your blood type you will also get to learn about a number of things yeah a number of things so please get pregnant <laughs> and then um also your weight you will monitor your weight throughout all your clinics so yes that is a, about prenatal care also on still at prenatal care there is usually an ultrasound or a scan that is done for you and your baby to be able to monitor to monitor your progress, to monitor the health of your child, to monitor really just to see your progress. So sometimes it's very optional, sometimes it is also very advised to just according to your doctors, according to your clinics, you will go up, that's how you will know how to go about the, the scan or the HD ultrasound. Yes, and then supplements. There is also still at prenatal care. There is supplements. At first, kuna um, two tablets to yellow, na tuangua. Also, kuna tungina to red. They change to red at uh, with time. And then also on on the other side, there is pregnant care or pregnant care plus, and it really just what works for you. You just and also there are many things in terms of supplements depending on your friends, depending on who's advising you. Yes, that is pretty much it about um about prenatal care. If I've left anything, mm -hmm, you'll fill me in. Then for the diet, I think the most advised diet to do is organic foods, which is ideally greens or plant proteins. Do a lot, a lot of plant proteins. Minimize a bit on the animal proteins. Do lots of vitamins, lots and lots of vitamins, and lots and lots of water. And then also at that time you might need a lot of energy, so you might need to get a few of calories. By the way, everything I'm saying here is from my personal point of view, from what I've learned. Okay, through my pregnancy it's not medicated it's not medical advice but it's just really from my point of view or what I've really learned um, or pregnancy and then dressing code I think with time you really run out of clothes and your wardrobe really does a turn around or a change your wardrobe really changes absolutely so you I think it really changes. So prepare yourself. When you get pregnant, get a little bit of both clothes. You can buy it the figure. You don't want anything tight. You just really want your breath. You want your space. Pole mam niko karibu kumaliza. So you just really want your space. You just really want you know it was a shit sana. So prepare your dressing code. So prepare for what you change. And then social cycle. Now, there are very many, there is a lot of advice in your pregnant. You really need to be choosy or you, need, you really need to know what advice you're going to use and what you're not going to use. For starters, I think, um, for me, I had that, been there, done that circle of friends who are really there for me. I had friends who are really there for me. I, my family was always, always there for me. My sisters, my moms, and a few friends, thank you guys for always being there for me. Those phone calls throughout the pregnancy really meant a lot. And um, as for you, as a new mom, or a new to be, or um, a new to be mom, you need to feed yourself with a lot of information. Get into Facebook. There are a lot of Facebook groups on motherhood. There, are, there is a lot of Facebook, I mean, motherhood content on Instagram with YouTube videos. Like, there is so many YouTube channels that talk about about um, about pregnancy or pregnancy. You know, just feed yourself with a lot of information. You will really, really need it. Feed yourself with a lot of info. And then from books to Google to groups and just have that strong circle of friends who will be there to support you and make
make Google your friend. Google any question that you have. Feed yourself, inform yourself, ready yourself, especially in terms of your mind to be a mom. And then for um, like kuangazea, plenty of rest and plenty of sleep, you really need to rest 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 and as much as i used to really work i think i used to really get time to also rest it's important to rest sleep sleep give your baby your baby time to work i mean your, your baby time to grow so yes work out if you can do those schedule exercises prepare yourself don't be too lazy peer in as much as you need to rest and sleep don't be very lazy work out when you need to work out when you can okay and then um hmm what and then and then lots lots of water i think i've said that you need to drink a lot a lot of water a lot of water so that your your body really needs a lot of water you need to stay hydrated your baby needs to stay hydrated you need to take a lot of water when you're pregnant lots of water take as much as you can that one is enough said then cleanliness you need to be clean you're pregnant my friend keep yourself clean slay if you can don't let pregnancy at now make you feel like umeza jiachilia ama unashinda tu sijui waje nyele umeachilia wogi no stay clean let your body be clean let your garments or your clothes be clean as well as um as well as your mouth it's so important to constantly brush your teeth when you're pregnant you don't want to just usijachilie that's the point take care of yourself lots lots of care for yourself and last but not the least make sure you start saving as soon as you realize you're pregnant start saving you will need a lot of money to take you through the pregnancy for you to maintain a good diet for you to maintain yourself also as excuse me to also just um buy for the baby shopping for the baby is no joke please start saving okay so that is pretty much it i think about pregnancy um that is pretty much it from my side if i've left anything please put it down below in the comments or if there is anything that i've left below let me know okay so thank you guys for watching see you in the second episode B do make sure to subscribe and See you in the second episode of the Sir Sturus.